my mother to this day, and I've been in the order since 1975, still says, now if it doesn't work out, you can come home. Mom, I'm staying. Father Joe Bain, OFM Conventual. Buffalo Fire Department Chaplain. Executive Director of the Franciscan Center. Priest in the Diocese of Buffalo. The oldest of three boys, he grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, where his firefighter father and his mother built a solid foundation of family and faith. The Franciscan Friars entered his life during high school. Drawn to the Franciscan spirit, Father Joe answered his calling. God did the calling, but I think the friars gave it the framework. Nobody can be St. Francis, just like no one of us can be Jesus. But we take the bits and pieces and the, the, the stuff about Francis that psyched me up and the stuff about Jesus that continues to psych, psych us up. Take that to the people. Father Joe entered the Franciscan order in 1975. He served in the Archdiocese of Baltimore before his provincial sent him to Buffalo, New York in 1989 to become the executive director of the Franciscan Center. This shelter for troubled boys is a place where compassion, hospitality, and tough love are woven together with issues such as education, employment, counseling, and future living alternatives. Uh, every kid that comes to us is different. Everyone has a different story. But that idea of helping them, and in a very Franciscan way, and it's really part of our philosophy here with the staff, is to see the creator in every creature. And then to try to see that goodness inside of them and help them to see it. And that's where the challenge is, to help the kids see their goodness, their potential. Father Joe's compassion for the boys in his house is equal to his longtime love for firefighters, making his decision to become a fire chaplain effortless. Grew up with a dad as a firefighter, uncle as a firefighter. So being a firefighter chaplain comes from the fact of the pride that I had in my dad and again, my uncle, uh, baby brother's a firefighter in Baltimore, and mom at age 70 still works in fire headquarters, you know, for one of the big chiefs. So uh, I always tell people we're all in my family a little bit nuts. But uh, again, taking my Franciscanism, my priesthood to the streets. September 11th, 2001. Father Joe Bain was called to the streets of New York City. He accompanied firefighters from Erie County to Ground Zero. At one point, we had a break, and we, we climbed into one of the buildings that hadn't collapsed. I remember kneeling down in the glass and the rubble, and my guys and gal firefighters from Erie County around me, and I told them I wanted to pray for Michael, Michael Judge, friar, Franciscan priest, wild man like me, a little crazy. And I wept. And these guys and gal firefighters, you know, from all walks of life, you know, had their hands on me. And I, I trembled and I shook. And I felt the presence of God as we looked out over the, the pile that was still a little bit burning and we're still recovering bodies and body parts. That was, actually those guys and gals ministered to me and I was there as their chaplain. August 24th, 2009. Father Joe was called to a burning building on Buffalo's east side. Victims were reportedly trapped inside. The lives of two firefighters were lost in this blaze. I literally was this close to them before they went back into the building for the third or fourth time and uh, actually joked with, with Lieutenant Chip. He gave me one of his tools to hold because he was doing something different. And to be there within feet of when they collapsed into the basement and then to hear the May Day and that we lost them. And then the humbling honor of leading their bodies out as we finally removed them from the uh, building weeping with these rough and tough firefighters that curse and, you know, and uh, joke and raz and humbling as a priest and uh, overwhelming. And then to celebrate the funerals. Um, can't put a price on it. You're humbled before God. And uh, I don't know, I still get choked up, but um, that's why I keep saying priesthood is for people. It's not for me. God uses me the broken, humbled, uh, gray-haired Franciscan. He uses me for people. We're priests when we're at the altar and we're not at the altar. That ministry of presence and that 
I think there's a mystery in that and that I as a priest minister sometimes with words or as Francis would say, preach the gospel and use words if you need them.